Hi, this is Doug with Stride Graphics and Web Design. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add uh, new artists to a photo gallery. Um, I say artists, uh, it, it could be any, anything. It could be portfolio of artwork or uh, photography. Uh, but in this case, um, I'm going to use John Carl Stoneworks. They're a specialty carving stone supplier here in Surrey, BC. Um, so in this case, um, what they've done is they've got uh, all their artists on display that use their, their stone. So um, we'll, we'll go ahead and use that as an example for this tutorial. Okay, so this is the home page. Uh, and I'm just going to jump over to, uh, I've created a page called Stone Carving Artists. And that's the page that I've specified for the portfolio. Um, and you'll see here there's an index of uh, several different artists that I've already populated. Um, so yeah, so now I'm going to basically show you from the back end how to add another artist. Okay, so we'll jump to the back end. And if you look at the top left, um, you'll find portfolio. And just under the flyout, um, you've got add new. But I'm going to go directly to all portfolio and just show you kind of a quick way of basically duplicating um, the previous artist. It'll just save us a bit of time. And a plugin that I've used is duplicate post. So uh, it's a very simple, basic, easy to use. Um, so I've installed that and you'll just see it down here when you hover over the, the artist. Uh, it'll say clone. So I'll do that. So we'll clone this artist. And there it is there. Creates a draft of this particular name. So now I'll click on this artist and of course we'll have to change everything up now. So I've got another screen that you don't see. I'm just going to be pulling some information for the new artist I'll be pulling in. But um, obviously we want to change the name to the new artist you're going to be adding. And working your way down the page, um, this is a bit of a write-up on, on the artist that it gives us an option for. So I will grab content that I have here and we will replace the duplicated content. Uh, scrolling down you've got different portfolio post options. Um, the way I have it specified, I'll just jump back to the front end again and if we jump onto this artist here for example, um, I've got multiple images for this particular artist tiled at the top. You know, we click on that we get a bit of a slideshow here in a light box. Uh, but we've also got the write-up, which I've, ha I've got it set up so it comes up below the images. And then there's even a right sidebar that gives us uh, the opportunity to add some bullet point uh, items, URL, stuff like that. So where that's going to be, if we jump back to the back end, I've got these different project layout options. Um, so the layout, I've got the images showing up above, like I just showed you. Um, project options, I've got it set up as a grid. You've got slider option, carousel option, uh, you know, there's other options you can choose. Uh, column selection, I've got it set up for four. You've got max height and width settings. Um, and then as far as the side menu I, did, I, I was mentioning, um, you can put in a title for any particular item you want to cover. And then you've got another field here for the description for that specific bullet point or, or title. Um, I'm not going to be using any of those. The one thing I am going to use, though, is the website. So, um, so for this particular artist, we'll paste in his his domain name, his website, and we'll make, keep scrolling down the page. Now we're going to have to clear this gallery again because it's duplicated content, and now we'll add. from the local hard drive and here are the images I want to grab. So we'll get all five of these images uploaded. So once those are done, just the bottom right hand corner, add to gallery. Um, and there we go. We've got all the images that are going to appear in our gallery for this particular artist. Um, now I do want to add the artist name in the caption. So I'll just again grab it and you know ideally you want to have a different caption for each image but in this case I'm just going to repeat the artist's name for each image and then again bottom right update gallery and there we go it populates the gallery there um, scrolling down further 
Uh, discussion uh, for for this website, I've turned off the comments. Um, the author of the website, I'm sure, is very busy and won't be able to keep up with with any sort of dialogue with with any visitors that that are asking or inquiring about the uh, the particular artist. Um, you know, we have put in the artist uh, URL, so if if anyone does want to contact these artists we have given them uh, a way to do that scrolling back up to the right um, again we got to remove this duplicated content it's the featured image from the previous artist so I'll just remove that and then we'll set up a new one and I'll pick kind of the nice the nicest one I a lot of this stuff's really nice but um, maybe we'll just use that one there so we'll set that up for the featured image the last option is categories um, so I've already set up different types of stone that uh, any given artist may work with. And in the case for this new one, he's using alabaster, chlorite, uh, prophylite, and soapstone. And that's, that's basically it. Um, you do have the option to order your artist here, uh, zero being the first one that would appear on the page. Um, I'm just kind of setting it up so it's just random. Uh, so finally, I'll just click on this Publish button, and we'll jump back to the front end. And we'll get back to the main gallery page. And there it appears on the bottom. So that's the artist I just added. So if we click on that, it'll show the five images that we just uploaded. It'll show all the content for that particular artist, and then the website URL on the right-hand side here. So pretty simple, um, but there you have it. That's uh, how to add a new artist to the portfolio item. Now, as far as themes go, uh, this is the virtue theme. Uh, I know a Veda uh, theme also has this style of portfolio. Um, I'm sure there's many other that, that are uh, using this portfolio software as well. Um, it's, it's pretty simple, pretty common, pretty easy to use. So anyway, I hope the video helped and uh, take care, guys.